My friend, my friend, I've been watching a couple videos out there. They're like 25, 30 minutes long. I'm going to keep this one under like eight minutes. Circle of Fists. There's more of these videos, so search for them. We're looking in the comment section here. We're going to talk about family courts today. What does that mean? Last time we talked about this, we were talking about how to use a circle of fists to understand what sharps and flats are. There are only a certain number of notes that we can have. When we go up in half steps, they become augmented. When we go down in half steps, they become diminished. The reason why we say that is every note hypothetically can be augmented or diminished. When we're talking about seven notes, we're talking about a collection of scales. They're called diatonics for the grouping of seven. Pentatonic, you could have octatonic. So what we're talking about today is just seeing notes and ideas. What we have with the circle of fists is a way to remember from the other video, uh, B has five. When we say the notes out loud, we put them in order or we write them down and go back in order. If you're having a hard time doing this, write down B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Put a dot right next to the A because it's diminished, not like the others. And then go through and say, well, where's my G? G has one sharp. Put the F sharp right in front of it. When you do that, you can memorize it in your head. And the reason why I'm not writing it is because I want you to go back to that other video and watch that. Blow your mind. Gives you a mechanism to know, hey, if there are X amount of sharps in the key of B, that means that when we flip it, there must be X amount of flats in the key of B flat. It's a great mechanism just to get through all the easy stuff, which is being able to go B major, C sharp minor, D sharp minor, E major, F sharp major, G sharp minor, A sharp diminished, boom. When we go through the concept of seeing how notes are pivotal, like a B can go up or down, but when we write these, we actually use the staff so it's clearer. When we see notes as being as tempos and measures, it's much easier to see things in like a rhythmic pattern, and then we create melodies out of those notes. So in the Western world, we have do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. No matter what key you're in, the circle of this is gonna help you achieve seeing where these notes lie. The reason why we learn chords as triads, stable foundations, one, three, five, is because when we're talking about our chords, we're quite literally talking about the foundation of seven very distinct chords and then how to utilize them by using the rules or break the rules. So if we're gonna write something and we wanna have like a measure of, I don't know, uh, let's say we'll play in the key of G major. So G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp, diminished. When we go through these, these are our G major, A minor, B minor. So when we feel these chords, these are the one, four, and five. Notice the upper letters. This is a way of seeing chords in sort of like a cheat sheet. Most jazz musicians know how to read this. So if you see something like this, you'll know exactly what to play. Um, the idea of going through chord charts like this is it also helps when you look at chord analyzation and song analyzation. By lining up all the notes on the beat, you could actually tell why the melody flows and it adheres to a certain number of things like no leaps and bounds, how to use notes and congruence that are in a diatonic structure, not being able to go outside of all the notes inside the diatonic key. When you put accidental notes or notes that are in between notes, they just flow through notes that we already have in the key signature. So that's what today's about. Last time we were talking about how to know how many sharps and flats they have. Well, G has one. That is this. Circle of fifths, C major goes to G. G goes to D. D goes to A. A goes to E. E goes to B. B goes to F sharp. And then F sharp goes to C sharp. Now, we could continue this. If we went C, D, E, F, G, we would get a G sharp. Now, G sharp is G sharp, but it's actually an A flat. If you think about it, all notes... G sharp augmented is A flat diminished. So what we're doing is we're achieving one of the five states of being as a note. A note can either be natural, it could be sharp, or it could be double sharp. It could be flat as well and then double flat. So the kind of concept here, all of the things you wanna use within your keys, your chord structures, generally adhere to the same type of ideas. If you're gonna play an F major, then generally you're gonna have a B flat in. If you're going to play an F major, generally you're going to have a C in it. A lot of people will use the circle of fifths, write it out like this, D flat, G flat, C flat. These are enharmonic equivalences. They all actually are, but I don't really want to call, uh, you know, a, 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 an E 
double sharp anything. That's just too much wordage. So when I go around here, you could write in all of the relative minors for these, A, E, B, F sharp minor. However, if you go four away, you'll find that the relative minor is there. So I don't worry about those right in the beginning right here. I just kind of see them as C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished. You can make a little in your head if you want to. However, if you go through this enough times and you shift them over, you're just talking about having a mode called Ionian. This means a one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That correlates to the key you're in. That's all we need to talk about for this session. G major is stable because it has three stable chords. When you shift this over, you're giving it something called sonority. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. You will always find that the chords that are right next to the key that you're in will also have really great sounding chords. Explore them for your own. And if you have any questions, check out my channel. Lots of information. Bye.